Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Alan Sugar pissed off everyone. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at controversies and scandals that The Apprentice star is responsible for that seriously annoyed the UK public. Since they have a feud, who's better, Piers Morgan or Alan Sugar? Let us know below. Number 10. This women's match needs more men, 2022. While everyone was enjoying the coverage of the women's Euros, Sugar decided to let his thoughts out on social media. He complained that because women occasionally commentate on men's football, the favour wasn't returned the other way. When England faced Norway and Ian Wright was commentating, Sugar's ego believed he was responsible for this. Nope. As Wright confirms in a video, he was booked a long time before the match. He also slated Sugar many times, which was delightful. It's not the only time football and women haven't mixed in Sugar's mind. In 2018, with the Men's World Cup, he put out a sexist post about getting gifts for women partners for ignoring them during the event, forgetting that they can also like sport. Number 9. Rule Breaking Winner, 2017 Series 13 of The Apprentice ended with an unusual twist by Alan Sugar. There wasn't just one winner, but two, in James White and Sarah Lynn, jointly claiming the crown. Lynn used the investment for her sweet business, whilst White grew his IT recruitment firm. However, the latter broke the rules on his way to getting the cash, yet the BBC let it slide. White had been having a fling with Jade English, another contestant in the show. The two were reportedly seeing other people at the time, but both relationships collapsed afterwards. The show had installed a rule against candidates from starting anything romantic whilst filming, which made it controversial that White was allowed to continue and co-win the series. Number 8. Outdated Beliefs, 2008 Uh-oh, women and sugar meet once again. This time, he was slated for several comments about women in the workplace. He claimed it was a right to ask prospective women if they were planning a pregnancy before hiring them, which it isn't, since it's unlawful. He also stated that maternity laws were entitling people to too much. Yeah, pesky people asking for basic human rights. Sugar believed these protections would mean employers would discriminate against family-considering women. He went further by saying, since an employer can't ask if a woman is looking to start a family, don't hire them. With such an outdated perspective, people were rightly angry at Sugar's statement. Number 7. Lewis Violence, 2021 With the cost of living in the UK spiralling out of control, Martin Lewis has been great in helping people know their rights and where to seek help. Well, Sugar doesn't like that for some reason. In 2021, Lewis was occasionally co-hosting Good Morning Britain. Well, with all the publicity Lewis was getting, Sugar decided to tweet that whilst he doesn't know why, he wanted to punch the money-saving expert in the face. Lewis called out Sugar's weird comments and recommended he delete the post. Other people described the post as immature and strange. Eventually, Sugar followed Lewis's advice and removed it, but not before he also added Michael Gove to his violent list. Number 6. Sugar Serial, 2018 One day, on Twitter, one user decided to create an image featuring Alan Sugar on the box of the serial Sugar Puffs, with a joke about it being his next venture. Whilst bizarre, there was nothing harmful in that, just a bit of pun work that we all like to dabble in, but Sugar's response was… problematic. He joked that he had enough puffs coming through the boardroom. Immediately, people were outraged. Seemingly, he was hinting at a similar word that's used derogatorily towards the gay community. Instead of apologising for his lack of awareness, Sugar suggested that others were stirring things. And he meant people full of hot air. Yeah, not many people sided with Sugar on this one. Number 5. Piers Morgan Feud, 2020 for a brief time in 2020, Piers Morgan was getting some form of respect for questioning politicians. It was like being in an upside-down world. It was bonkers. While Sugar didn't like Morgan's approach and began insulting him on Twitter and in an interview with The Sun, 
The two, who had a playful rivalry for years, had entered the domain of enemies in a public setting. Impressive. I know you're not familiar with how interviews work. You ask a question, I then oh, answer hoo, 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 yeah. kettle. Most of the barbs exchanged from Sugar were a bit weird. In 2022, when Morgan made a comment about not getting a knighthood, Sugar said the Queen might fancy ramming the sword where the sun does not shine. He then finished with an upsetting anagram of Morgan's name. Number 4. Corbin Smear, 2018 Sugar was part of the new Labour government in an advisory role. When the Conservatives took charge, he held a similar position in their government. By 2015, with Jeremy Corbyn leading Labour, Sugar left the party as a peer, claiming they were negative for business and nothing to do with the policy of higher taxes for the rich. Wink, wink. Anyway, he thought it was a swell idea to Photoshop and upload to Twitter an image featuring Corbyn and Adolf Hitler hanging out in a car. Several MPs condemned the post, and Sugar soon deleted it. In 2019, showing his anti-Corbyn side again, Sugar publicly backed Boris Johnson for Prime Minister, to the dismay of many. And in hindsight, probably not a great call. Number 3. Footballer Slander, 2005 Alan Sugar has a long history with football. After all, he was the majority owner and chairman of Tottenham Hotspur from 1991 to 2001, so you'd expect him to have respect for those that make their living from playing the beautiful game. Nope. In an interview with The Telegraph, he described footballers as total scum, and the biggest scum that walks on this planet. To make it worse, he claimed most of them would be in prison if they weren't professional players. Among those that condemned the comments included former Spurs captain Gary Mabbott. But it's not like Sugar had been complimentary about his time at Tottenham. He previously described the experience as the worst of his life. Number 2. Slating Home Workers, 2020 when the UK went into lockdown, many people were scared, but not Sugar. He popped up on TV to slate the lockdown from his home in Florida. Then, with people preferring to work from home than risk the commute to the office, he lost it again. He insulted the workers time and time again, even writing a column describing them as lazy and downplaying the virus. It might have something to do with Sugar's office portfolio, but who knows? Sugar then drew the ire of many when he appeared on This Morning and claimed those working from home were enjoying it. When he changed tact once the news came out about Donald Trump contracting COVID, social media erupted at his hypocrisy. Number 1. Senegal Football Racism 2018 During the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Senegal faced Poland in the group stages. Avid football fan Alan Sugar was watching, and he immediately made it terrible. He posted an image of the team lining up before the match, but he decided to use his Photoshop skills again to crudely add a load of sunglasses and bags with a comment from him claiming he saw the team on a beach in Marbella. With rage erupting from the public, Sugar made an apology but not really post by claiming it was a joke after deleting the image. He then made a more sincere sounding apology, but the damage was done. Figures from all over the world and all walks of life were livid. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.